The presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, the PDP, Atiku Abubakar, has visited Enugu State, where he re echoed his pledge to rebuild the country. Atiku, a former vice president who was accompanied on the visit to stakeholders by his running mate, Governor Ifani Oko of Delta State, arrived at the Akamwibiam International Airport and was welcomed by the host governor, Ifani Ogwani, and other party faithful. At a meeting with stakeholders, Atiku restated his love for Ndibo, which he said led to his choice of Igbo men as running mates in 2019 and for next year's election, and also reassured them of his commitment to restructuring Nigeria and enthroning true federalism. As you know, the South is, is close to my heart. You have supported me through thick and thin, and I will always remember that. Your sons, your sons and daughters have played very positive roles in the development of my life and our country. They were key personnel who played important roles in the PDP government in which I served as vice president. And they have continued to excel in other roles across the world. You are a key contributor economic activities in this country and a government that wants to revive our economy and provide opportunities for our people must carry the southeast along. I am a businessman and I know that businesses need supporting environment to thrive and when they thrive the country thrives. I do not see the provision of infrastructure in any part of the country is a favor to that country or to that part. If anything, it is a favor to the country because we are one country and one economy. When you understand the importance of infrastructure for economic development, jobs and wealth creation, your focus will be to provide as much infrastructure as is needed in every part of the country rather than treat it as favors as told on those you like and deny to those you dislike. When I was campaigning for the privilege of being a presidential candidate before coming elections, I outlined the five priorities to reunify the country, improve security, fix the economy, restructure the federation, and improve human capital. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.